Brianna Garcia had just defeated Eve Torres for the Divas Championship. However, a new challenger in Kelly Kelly arrives after she defeated the champion in a non-title bout. At Over the Limit, Kelly did what she could to fend off against the twins' antics, but it proved to be too much for her. Brianna holds on to the championship for just a bit longer. Throughout the weeks, Kelly would team with likes of former Divas champion, Eve, and her former rival, Beth Phoenix. After all three women gained wins on the twins, WWE left it up to the viewers to decide who should face Brianna for the Divas Championship. Who got the majority vote? Kelly Kelly. They believed in her, and she had another shot to win the title. Thank you. After a bit of back and forth, Kelly was able to win the first championship of her career. Bitter tensions rose for a few weeks as the twins would retaliate against the champion in hopes of getting the gold back into their arms. It all came to a head when Kelly would defend her title against Brianna at Money in the Bank. She took some nasty hits within this match, but she held strong and cemented her reign with a K2 leg drop. And still your Divas Champion, Kelly Kelly. <laughs> Kelly has improved herself immensely after winning the title. Because she knew she has something to prove, it was now time to see who would face the champion at SummerSlam. In a battle royal, where Gail Kim famously eliminated herself, Beth Phoenix would outlast 11 other women, which was no surprise to anyone. Kelly goes into the ring to congratulate her friend, or who she thought was a friend. Your days as the perky, cute, blonde little bimbo are officially over. A new attitude and a new motivation is in the air as Beth Phoenix prepares for her big match against Kelly. She has even aligned herself with former Divas champion, Natalia. But does this scare the champion? Absolutely fucking not. While her opponent is physically superior, Kelly Kelly is a champion for a reason. And she will fight as hard as she can to protect what's hers. But could she win this? Match at the biggest party of the summer? <music> Kelly instantly hounds on Beth, doing whatever she can to break her opponent down. But, Beth's physical prowess halted her momentum. Kelly fights back as much as she can. Beth, however, might just be too strong for the champion. But, just where we all thought it was over for the champion, Kelly uses her last bit of energy to counter the glam slam and is able to retain her championship. The Divas Champion holds on to the gold, for now. The Divas of Doom put the champion and the Divas division on notice of their future plans. But the end goal is stripping Kelly Kelly of the Divas title. Beth beats Eve Torres in a number one contenders match to face the champion at Night of Champions, which just so happens to be in Beth's hometown. The crowd yelled loudly for their hero as they campaigned for her to take the gold. However, when the champion arrives, she's shrouded in booze. The match starts on an even playing field until Beth gets the upper hand. She gets praise from the crowd, but whenever Kelly gets the advantage, she is met with displeasure from the universe. It comes to the near end of the match, and Beth sets up Kelly for a big move. In a moment of desperation, Beth hits a superplex on Kelly. She hold on, Beth lifts Kelly up to what we can only imagine will be a devastating move. But, the Divas Champion counters into a glow crowd, and of course to Beth Phoenix. She thought she has it right this time. Where did she go wrong? 
What else can she do? After beating Kelly in a tag team match alongside Natalia, Beth earns one more shot at the Divas Championship. But, if she's done it before, all she has to do is win again. There's plenty of back and forth action as it is clear that both women want to win this match and hold the title. In the heat of the moment, while the ref is distracted, Natalia, who was outside talking shit, blasts Kelly in the head with a microphone. This was part of the plan. Was it executed well? After two huge losses, the Glamazon finally wins the belt that was just out of her grasp. But what does this mean for Kelly? The very next night, Kelly and Eve take on Natalia, a new Divas champion, Beth Phoenix in a tag match. Kelly is all smiles. But it's clear as day that she displeased with losing the title she's tried so hard to keep. She's not bitter, she's mad as hell. And Beth is about to find out. <laughs> Kelly beats the hell out of Beth in sheer rage. We've never seen her like this before. She's obviously still hurt with how she lost her title. And she will stop at nothing to get it back. But before she can do that, someone else will face Beth. Someone who has been watching the new champion very closely. Eve heads into vengeance to win the title from Beth, and to deliver some hurt in honor of her good friend, Kelly Kelly. The match is intense. Eve uses her martial arts skill to fight against the champion. Whenever the Glamazon thinks she has an answer, Eve makes the champion question herself even more. However, Phoenix found a way out of the hole and was able to fend off the challenger. And, still, your Diva's champion. Time passes, and Eve Torres finds herself facing the Glamazon yet again. It's a Lumberjill match at Survivor Series. Fellow divas surround the ring to make sure the action stays inside. The match starts, and it's as intense as their previous encounter. Whenever the two stars go out of the ring, the Lumberjills throw them back in. Eve has Beth on the edge. But, the Glamazon is a fighting champion. She and Eve are on the ropes. Weeks pass as Beth and Natty terrorize the divas division. But Kelly and Eve stand up to the two women, not to be deterred by their behavior. Someone has to shut them up. After a confrontation at the Slammies, Beth and Kelly meet at TLC, where the blonde bombshell falls to the Glamazon once more. Elsewhere, Eve Torres has her eyes on something else, a man. Or more specifically, a Browski. But, she, enters a world of nothing but pure evil just by being near him. She finds herself threatened and harassed. But through it all, she tries to stay by her love interest, even to his detriment. With Zack Ryder, out of commission, who's going to keep her safe from the Red Demon? Who better than the WWE Universe's favorite superhero? Eve finds herself being taken hostage before being saved once again by John Cena. In the heat of the moment, she locks lips with him, to the heartbreak of Zack Ryder. We were all fooled into thinking the kiss just a momentary slip up, until we hear Eve revealing her true intentions. Eve tried to explain herself, but it's too late. She's a snake within two camps. And she loves it. The only people that should be to blame are the men that approached her, she says. After all, she's a woman in a man's world. Kelly Kelly tries to talk some sense into her friend, but her pleas obviously fall on deaf ears. Eve has gone to the other side. With Eve's new behavior, Kelly expresses her disappointment. The two are now clearly at odds with each other. Which opens the door for Diva's champion, Beth Phoenix, to get chummy with the new bad girl. A confrontation with extra host Maria Menounis leads to a WrestleMania match between the four women. Maria and Kelly Kelly, Beth Phoenix and Eve Torres. But first, 
Kelly wants to knock some sense into her former friend. Eve almost gains a victory, but her overzealous behavior leads to a win for America's sweetheart. Will this momentum get her team a win at the grandest stage of them all? It's mania time. Kelly faces off against her former friends in what was an emotional roller coaster. Kelly and Beth had a solid alliance until she was betrayed. Then, she and Eve were good friends until Eve embraced her inner demons. Championship wins and failed friendships led to this moment. Only one side can win. Kelly fights hard against the two backstabbing sheep, while at the same time carrying the weight of her partner in the newness. Beth and Eve come close to losing, but they continue to push back against Kelly and Maria. Beth uses her strength to try and finish the match, but with a gust of defiance, Kelly helps her tag team partner, and they get win against the Glamazon and the Heartbreaker. Kelly may be celebrating her win now, but Eve is not finished with her. Beth had just lost her title, suffering an injury. Kelly was making do within her last months within the company. Eve, however, still had a score to settle with the blonde bombshell. The two met in singles action again, and Kelly started off the match by mocking her former friend. The two go back and forth for a hit until the near ending of the match. Kelly thinks she has the win until Eve places her feet onto the rope for leverage as she pins her. Kelly sits in disbelief as she realizes her former friend has now cheated her, and we wouldn't see her for a while after this. Kelly returns after a brief leave, and she faces off in what will be her last singles match. Who's her opponent? Her former bestie, 